lose, it's good. The, the desperation you'll feel for a win is, is huge, and I'm sure Sam will be feeling a lot of relief there that he's finally got one on the board. Please welcome Tom Cox. Tom Cox, our sub zone. Charlie Dando and Cam in his corner as well. I mean, we were talking before about the influence that Cam Akara has had on the fight game in general, but what he's built with ASW and now Subzone, he's done a short phenomenal. Yeah, like I said, definitely one of the, the stronger teams on the circuit right now. Always in tough fights, you know, getting lots of wins and picking up titles and, you know, turning guys to the, the pro ranks who seem like real seasoned vets in the amateur league I've seen. So, yeah, can't, can't speak highly enough of the work that Cam's doing at the minute. Notice. I love how you've got the face up as your background. Yeah, mate, you've got to you've got to just remind yourself each day what's next. And that's a good motivator right there, bro. He's he's a meal ticket to me. Well, take nothing away from Gordon right now, but that's your, that's a title fight, really, to think about. I, it. I believe so. Man. I think the winner of that's the tournament. 100. Oh, you know, this is another great walkout tune. I'm a big fan of Mob Deep, but now he's hip hop. Two, two gyms with real good grappling pedigree this as well so could be a grappling heavy fight this one but who knows so you might you might get a call the gun to newsman type fight where you yeah. expect both guys to wrestle and then does end up being a, a straightener If you listen to the 90s rap release, surely you listen to a bit of 90s rap. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. if any what, rap, 90s rap. What, what's in the gym? Like, what's being played in the gym? Oh, it's more like country music and jazz. And really, yeah? So you would have loved, I went to Texas in April, and the country music we had in Texas. Yeah, bro, a bit, bit of everything in the gym, to be honest. Dance music, this stuff. Eclectic. I must admit, I'd love, I love the back tattoo on top of Give it any commentators curse, but no fight's gone the, gone the points yet. No, just about an easy so night so far. Yeah, the, the judges are sitting there twiddling their thumbs, tumbleweed rolling past them. Here we go. Let's let it to start. Salt ball stands for a Two Ahmed. nice right hands there, few uppercuts. Tom Cox in the orthodox stance. A oh. comes straight in for a takedown. Shot from that takedown so far away. Like I said, I did, I did predict a wrestling heavy fight with this one. Just by looking at the camps, but... Abar's doing a great job of using his wizard there to stop the takedown. From top yeah, hops. that is good work. Sometimes guys forget that they can still strike when they're up against the cage. And when these rounds are, are close, you know, it can be the difference. 
Oh, there were a couple of nice knees there from Arbaz. Yeah. Gives up the back this time to Tom Cox, though. Beautiful. Yeah, nice Got back the ball now. Body triangle. Very slick transitions from Tom Cox here. Abaz needs to try and get his shoulders towards the mat and improve the angle. Tom Cox comes to yeah, mat. Oh, great back, job back, to the base. Still just under half a round to work as well. Beautiful work from Arbaz, and now it's a full mount almost. Tom Cox right in front of his corner. Oh, oh Ahmed now locks up the dash joke, is it? Sorry, the Anaconda. Doesn't look tight yet. He's let go of it. Tom Cox, yeah, Tom Cox doing everything right. Oh, Ahmed's turn to take the back, is it now? Oh, cheeky. Oh. Dangerous technique, but could, that, could end up under the chin here. Tom Cox needs to respect the position, and he does. He some wrestles back to his feet. He some great scrambles, by the way. What I've loved about both of these guys in, in these grappling transitions, they've not stuck to one thing. They've, they've tried to test out different things, see what's working, see what's not. But, uh, yeah, no, certainly they're mixing it up. You, they're oh, fighting nice with all the tools at the... Is that it? Oh, end of the round there. I thought that was a low blow for a second there when Dan overhead he brought the action to, to an end. I think both fighters had some really good moments in that round. I think Arpaz really turned it round as well. The yeah, second he did. The round. Uh, I feel like, you know, the effort that he put in to try and damage and, and look for the finish toward the end might have just took the round, but I think I'd like to see Tom use his striking a little bit more. I think he started the fight and landed some, some nice clean right hands and a few uppercuts and kind of just stuck to what he knows best. Yeah. But yeah, I'd like to see him strike a little bit more in this next round. Second round between Tom Cox and Arbaz Ahmed. Nice right arm from Tom Cox there. Connects his hands on the double leg. So what I see guys doing that, he, he had his hands connected and as soon as his opponent hit the mat, he releases his hands and your opponent just pops straight up. And Ahmed used the, the wizard there to, to get himself into top position. Omar Plata now from, from Tom Cox. Oh, this could be dangerous. Ahmed doing everything right though here. Going to be near impossible for, for Tom to get a finish in this position, especially with the cage wall in the way. Oh, Baz ends up in a great position here. Yep. Oh, nice knees. He's getting himself some control time now as well. Three minute rounds, they do go quick if you can establish. A minute or two control times, typically if you've, you've, you've took the round. Tom back on top oh. now, such a back and forth fight so far this. This has been beautiful. Oh, nice take down from Arbaz. Oh, might have given his back away. Side control.
That was a good moment from Tom, but Arbaz yep. has taken control yep. again. It, it just keeps flipping. Strong cross face from, from Ahmed. Now he's looking to advance his position towards the back. Now we got some ground the pound coming in. Gets that first hook in now. He's high on the back though. Tom going to look to shake him off. Damn oh. overhead. He not going to let Ahmed use the cage there to his advantage. Tom Cox goes with the momentum from the wizard and ends up back on top. But so back and forth this so mate. back and forth. Impossible for me to score this because it's just changing hands so so frequently. I think the first round, they've both been really close rounds, haven't they? I think Arbaz is. I mean, you could argue that Arbaz has kind of edged both of these rounds. It could be 1 1, it could be 2 0. Yeah, mate, I don't know. No, I have no idea. Good job, we're not a judge. Oh, beautiful ground and pound at the end of the round. Best glory of the fight so far there for me, though. In my opinion, I think Tom's got to finish Arbaz in the next round. Could well be, mate. I think the first round there were a lot more back and forth moments. And on the second round, Arbaz had more control. There were still a couple moments where Tom did manage to scramble and turn it over, but yeah. Arbaz very quickly turned it back his way. Yeah. Third and final round between Tom Cox and Arbaz Ahmed. Nice knee from Arbaz. Arbaz Tom. Ahmed on top again now. I don't know whether that was the right move from Tom to try to go for the guillotine there. No, but like you said before, mate, if, he, if he's two rounds down, he, he, he might be feeling like he needs to go yeah. for it. And maybe the corners asked for him to to go for broke and I agree with you mate maybe that weren't the, the, the right time to go for broke but maybe nice he's, he's just running out of ideas a little bit now and Ahmed's keeping keeping the, the intensity and the the will to try and win is he on something here? Don't have a very good angle of the action. This is great control from Arbaz. Yeah. A minute into this last round, this is not what Tom needed. He's trying his best though, he's trying to walk up the wall. Or the cage rather. Arbaz is just transitioning so well. Oh, this looks over. And this could nice be it. Work. This is it. Yeah, it's deep. Beautiful work from Arbaz. Yeah, it's another finish. Third round, Ryan Aga Joe. Arbaz just grew into that fight so well, I thought. I think the first kind of minute or so of the first round, I think Tom looked like he could be the one to take control of this fight but Arbaz ended the first round strong nicked that round in my opinion second round was a lot more dominant from Arbaz and then the third round just came out and just no messing we've got a beautiful finish so congratulations to Arbaz and next yeah. it's a great win and another finish like you said another finish non-stop tonight then a hard one with Tom Six. I, I do think in the short time that we did see the beginning of the fight, I, I think Tom landed some really nice strikes. He landed two yeah, right hands. I, I would have liked to see his striking a little bit more. Yeah, he, he definitely had his moments in the fight, but 
you know, Abaz Ahmed was, was really able to execute his game plan. Would you say the rear naked choke is the most common submission there, mate? It is the most common, statistically, but it's the, it's the hardest one to finish in the gym. And I think the reason is, like, you know, on fight day, often guys quit, and that's the easiest way out, is to give you an exo. In, in, in the case of, you know, Tom tonight, I don't think he gave up. I think it was a slick bit of jiu-jitsu from his opponent. Up next, we have got Danny Doosnap versus Alex Mancha. Another sub-zone guy. Sorry, excuse me, not a sub-zone. Danny 